Well, tonight, a second person is in jail for the kidnapping and murder of a Doral man, and a Venezuelan gang may be behind the disturbing crime. Now, lawmakers are calling on the White House to help stop this criminal organization. Jamie Grilla is live outside the jail in Northwest Miami Day with more on this violent story tonight. Jamie. The victim kidnapped outside a hotel, then murdered tonight. A second suspect accused of the crime is behind bars. Good afternoon, sir. You were arrested pursuant to an arrest warrant extradited from Panama. After an intense and months long search, authorities located and arrested Julio Cesar Hernandez Montero. According to police, the 27 year old is one of the accomplices of Urin Salazar Matia. Matia arrested in January for the murder, robbery, kidnapping, and home invasion of Jose Luis Valera. Valera found dead last November in the back seat of his own vehicle, his hands and feet bound with tape. The victim's brother told us in January that his body was brutally beaten. According to police, surveillance video shows the victim leaving a La Quinta when Montero and two other men kidnapped him. There's probable cause for all of the charges. Police believe after the kidnapping, the suspects invaded the victim's home, demanded money from a roommate, and stole a safe. According to an arrest warrant, Montero's cell phone data put him at the hotel, the victim's home, and where the body was found. The Tren de Aragua, a violent Venezuelan street gang, that is operating in the United States, according to the FBI. The warrant also says the suspects are part of Tren de Aruga, a violent Venezuelan street gang currently operating in the United States. The gang has been described as an invading criminal army from a prison in Venezuela that has spread the brutality and chaos to U.S. cities and small towns. Thursday, the same day Montero appeared in a Miami court, Senator Marco Rubio and Congresswoman Maria Avira Salazar wrote a letter to President Biden. They requested the president immediately designate the gang as a transnational criminal organization. The designation would help raise national awareness, deploy necessary resources and sanctions to curb escalating violence in U.S. communities. Montero was denied bond, no word on a motive. Reporting live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Jamie Garola, NBC6 News. All right, Jamie.